Explaining to patients that all pain is in the brain can often be challenging. And if it's not done right, the patient can walk away thinking that you just told them that the pain is all in their head or that their pain is not real. And if that happens, they basically lost trust in you and they're not likely to return for future treatments. On the other hand, if the patient truly believes and understands that all pain is in the brain, they're less likely to focus on a specific injured body part and they're likely to recover faster. In this short video, I like to demonstrate how I explain to my patients that all pain is in the brain. I like to do an experiment right now. Is it okay if I gently touch your skin of your forearm? Yes. Okay. Do you feel this? Yes. And the reason you feel it is because your brain is perceiving me touch your skin. It's not actually your skin that's feeling this, but it's your brain that's giving meaning to me touching you. So what I'm trying to get at is all sensations, including pain, are felt in the brain. For example, as you're looking at me right now, it's not your eyes that are seeing me. It's your brain that is seeing me. Your eyes are simply taking in the light and that reflection is passed on to the back of your brain, turned upside down, and the images are transformed into something that your brain can understand. When you hear my voice, it's not your ears that are hearing me. Your ears are simply taking in the vibrations, but they're giving the information to your brain and the brain is translating things to say, ah, oh, these words make sense to me. So when I touch you here, it's important to understand it's your brain that is making you feel this. And when we feel pain, it's our brain also that is giving meaning to that sensation. 